Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to explain how you can print transpose of a matrix with the help of 2D array in C language. Before start, I just want to share one information. If you go to detail or description of this video, you will find links of various playlists related to C language. So you can follow them. Now, first I am going to tell you how uh, we calculate transpose. Then I will be implementing the program. So, suppose there is a matrix whose dimension is 3 by 4, 3 rows and 4 columns. So, these are the row indexes, these are column indexes, and let's say these are the values. So, these 12 elements are available in this matrix. Now, if you want to print transpose of a particular matrix, then you need to convert all the rows into columns or you can say you need to convert all the columns into rows. So the transpose of this matrix will be 1, 5, 9. So here you can see 1, 5, 9 are available in a column and the output will be having these values in a row. Then 2, 6, 10, 3, 7, 11 and 4, 8, 12. So this will be the output. So here you can say transpose of this particular matrix is this. So now I am going to write a C program so that you will understand how we can perform this operation. So here you can see I have declared a 2D array whose dimension is 3, 4. So 3 rows and 4 columns. Now I am writing a printf which will display a message enter 3 by 4 matrix to receive input from user. I am going to implement this loop. So first loop will re repeat row times and second loop, second loop will repeat column times. So first is maintaining uh, through i variable and second loop is maintaining through uh, j variable. Here I am putting a scanf which will read all the elements from user. So these are uh, simple statements which are used uh, whenever you want to read 2D array from user. Now, after this, I am going to write those statements through which we can print transpose of a matrix. So here I am putting a printf, which will display this message transpose on output screen. And by uh, following this statement, the digits will be displayed. So now I am going to implement first loop. So see carefully, here I have mentioned condition as i less than 4, but while I uh, read the values, so I uh, put 3 here. So I am changing row and column values for loop rotation, so I am going to explain this as well. Here I am putting j less than 3, right? <clears throat> now I am going to use printf percent D, then backslash T, backslash T because I want to put some space between two digits and then A of Ji. So this is also very important. Here I am putting A of Ji. So first index is uh, provided through J variable and second is provided through I variable. Now I am closing this loop. So inner loop is closed. Then for new line, backslash n and then I'm closing outer loop and then main function. So now I'm going to iterate uh, this logic so that you will get to know how it is working for this matrix. So here you can see dimension is 3 by 4. So we have 3 by 4 matrix. Now if I start a rotation from here, so initially i is 0. So initially i is 0. So here I'm writing i as 0. Then we will move here. Uh, that is j equals to 0 
and if you see this loop so this loop will repeat three times because condition is j less than c so this loop will repeat three times so first time the indexes will be 0 0 those will be printed then only j is incremented so next time value of j will be 1 so here index will be 1 0 so here you can see 0 0 is having 1 so 1 will be printed then 1 0 1 0 position is having 5 so here 5 will be printed right so printing will be done uh, row wise because uh, this printer is not having any bachelor time then after printing second value j will be increased again so now its value is 2 so next index will be 2 0 so on output screen 2 0 will be printed so here you can see in this matrix it is here but while printing this this 9 will be available here so it means first column is printed as first row for output now this loop will terminate new line will be there then i will be incremented so i is now 1 and j will again start from 0 j will again start from 0 and again it will iterate 3 times so here you can see j will remain same but i is now 1 so these indexes will be printed so first index is 0 1 so here you can see 0 1 is 2 so 2 is printed here then next is 1 1 so 1 1 is 6 so it is printed here then 2 1 it is 10 and it is printed here so this way you can see the input matrix columns are printed as rows in output matrix right so with this logic you can print transpose of a particular matrix you need to remember that if dimension is this 3 by 4 so while reading row will be here and column will be here but while printing column value will be here and row value will be here and you need to put a j i and here we are putting a i j so these changes you need to remember and in case if your matrix is this 3 by 3 row and column both uh, have uh, same size so then you can put 3 3 here you can put 3 3 here but you need to put j i as it is right so this way i hope you understood how we can print transpose of a matrix uh, with the help of c language i hope you understood whatever i explained in this video if you want to watch more programming related videos you can open my channel go to playlist so there you will be having variety of programs and uh, also you can go to detail or description of this video so where you will find links of various playlists related to c programming so follow them and thank you for watching this video